Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this showcase. Today we've got the other half of the Leviathan box, which again, big thank you to Games Workshop for sending us the Leviathan box in advance to paint up some incredible models in the uh, Space Marine side of the box. This force of Marines has been painted by George and the team and myself. We split it, so George done the majority of the infantry and I've done the characters and the Dreadnought. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look at all these awesome models in their glory. Really, really elite force what we've got here. We've got some, uh, so we've got some Stern Guard. We've got some the brand new Terminators, which everybody's been super excited about. We've got some brand new Infernus Marines, obviously Flamer Toting Space Marines, which is always, always good. Uh, another through Dreadnought, again, probably one of the most iconic models in the 40k game, in my opinion. Uh, and then we've got a whole swathe of characters to uh, to finish off the force. So some really, really good miniatures. Um, so let's jump straight in. We're going to start with the main man himself, Terminator Captain. Probably my favourite model, I think, from the box. That and the Dreadnought are the two. Um, but the uh, the Terminator Captain, just loads of detail, really imposing stance as well, just looming forward as if he's just spotting another, another target. Um, love the fact that it's got a Screamer Killer head on the base as well, which is just a really cool detail of the miniature. Um, had a lot of fun painting these. We've gone for, for Hawk Lords as a chapter. A uh, little bit of uh, backstory. Hawk Lords is my first Space Marine army other than Blood Angels, so we thought we would honour... The, uh, the, the the my past chapter in this uh, in the new new miniatures and that's why we've gone for this uh, this color scheme. Painting process was was really really good. Obviously chose some really really vibrant uh, purple, which is a very old color, which is called leash purple, um, and it goes on like an absolute dream through the airbrush. So really really nice base base color for the uh, for the armor. So next model we're going to look at is the, uh, the probably one of the first ones that we saw when uh, the Viper was announced, which is the, uh, the 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 lieutenant. Again, really really cool model. I love the backstory to him having a bit of armor as well on there, and obviously we've done we've done the same sort of uh, hive fleet on there. So it's behemoth, obviously. So any of the any of the Tyranids that you see in this uh, force of Marines, you're going to have the behemoth color scheme on there. Um, great pose. We didn't really change the models at all whatsoever. I went for a really, really sort of stock loadout. But the uh, Lieutenant's got some great little details on him. Absolutely love the Predator style blood dripping from the, uh, the blade as well, which is really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, he was just a, an awesome model to paint. Um, next, we've got the Terminator Librarian. So again, a really, really awesome model. Loads of great little details on him. All the runes on the armor, the sort of psychic sort of uh, lines of power on the armor, which are quite cool. Massive force axe as well, which is just a really cool little detail on him. Absolutely love the fact that um, that George went for the the yellow cabling on the um, on the armor. It's very close nod to sort of like the box art and also to the old sort of style of librarians you used to see back in second edition. Um, then we've got a brand new uh, Apothecary Biologist in Gravis Armor, which is again, really cool uh, miniature, very imposing, looming forward as if he's scouring for another target uh, whilst carrying his uh, his uh, Space Marine bag of, uh, of biological bits, which is just awesome. So that's the, uh, the, the, the Apothecary Biologist. Uh, then we're going to jump and have a look at the Stern Guard. Again, a really, really awesome set of models. Do love the fact that uh, you've got a Mark VII helmet on one of them as well, which is just a real nice nod to First Ball Marines, which I think is a great thing. Um, love all the details that, that really give the standard Primaris uh, Mark X armor a little bit more intricacy. Uh, and you've also got the, the uh, tabards as well, which just denotes them as a, like, a veteran status. And we went for yellow helmets on these guys as well, just to show that they're a veteran. Um, but again, a really nice selection of models. The guy, the guy with the plasma here as well is quite cool. Absolutely love the reversed um, dr uh, drum mag, or not drum mag, the, uh, the hopper mag on top, of the, on top of the gun rather than being underslung to show that sort of combi weapon, which is great. You've got the heavy bolter in the unit as well. It's nice to see the return of the heavy bolter to the Primaris uh, range. Uh, but again, a really, really awesome, awesome miniature. Uh, all the chevrons and the cables and things just really just contrast nicely to the purple along with the yellow lid. Um, then we've also got the last one as well. Again, really, really cool set of models. Um, and this guy's just got a standard, standard magazine as well on him. So maybe he's just got a different type of ammunition. Then we're going to jump across and have a look at the Inferno Springs. You get 10 of them in the box. That's 10 flamers. That's a lot of uh, a lot of Promethean being kicked around the table. Uh, but again, really, really nice set of models. They build really nicely. A really great set of, uh, of a sort of like posing as well. A nice variation between the unit of 10. Um, we also just splashed on that yellow uh, sort of accent color by painting all of the flame canisters on the, on the flamers in a yellow. Again, that nods back to some of this early second edition kind of colorways where flame magazines would be a different color or like a bright color to denote their sort of uh, caution and things, which is what we've done on there. And you've got another one on his hip there, or just on this guy. Uh, and then we've got the sergeant, which is probably one of my favorite models from the unit. Just that really commanding, not using the flamer, doesn't care, drawing his blade, uh, which is just an awesome, awesome model. Um, we've left the last two units from this force. So probably, probably some of my favorite in contention with the captain, but the brand new Terminators, 
they're phenomenal. Like they're absolutely phenomenal. We've uh, they, we've we've got some images of them being compared to uh, to sort of the the previous Terminators, and the size of difference is actually massive. Um, really, giving them the stature that that Terminators should have on the tabletop. We compared them to some of Adam's Imperial Guard, and they they absolutely dwarf them. So they're really really cool. Again, really nice advancing pose here. We've got little bits of detail, like some pipes and things on the base. Can't go can't go out on the battlefield without a tactical rock as well, which is quite cool. Um, we've got one just shooting here as well. Went for yellow helmets on these guys as well, just to denote their elite or veteran status as well, just to give them a little bit of a different colorway and a nice contrasting color to the purple. Uh, and then the sergeant, which is probably my favorite model from the Terminator unit. You've got this awesome, really imposing pose with the uh, with the blade drawn and uh, the energy field flickered on, which is quite cool, just shooting down range at a target. Huge tactical rock on this guy as well, which is just a lovely, uh, lovely little addition there for him. The assault cannon from the unit, we saw what it done in the video or the, the CGI video of, of the release of, uh, of Leviathan. And, uh, this guy doesn't disappoint. He's got a massive magazine on there with loads of ammunition, which is just great. Um, and a really commanding pose with some shell casings on the floor on the base as well, just to show he's not uh, not all show and no gun power. And finally, we've got the Ballistus Dreadnought from the box. Uh, really awesome unit. Probably Dreadnought, one of the most iconic models from the 40K range in my mind. Just really nods back. Some of the first artwork I saw was of Dreadnoughts from 40K. Um, nice nod to the previous, uh, previous Las Cannon missile launcher Dreadnought in the past. Uh, but again, really awesome model. We've spent loads of time adding sort of little details onto him. So he's got some campaign markings here on the sarcophagus. Um, we've got obviously some knee markings and things, um, you know, and obviously just done quite a few different transfers and things on the model just to denote obviously his sheer sort of veteran status, uh, which is what he is. But a phenomenal model, really great uh, piece of kit for your, for your army, obviously with the firepower that it brings to the tabletop. And again, even he's got a tactical rock as well. So I do hope you really like these awesome miniatures, which we've had the pleasure of painting for Games Workshop for the release of Leviathan. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, for all of us involved on the project, on the Tyranid side, on the Marine side, we've absolutely loved all of the miniatures that we've had the pleasure of painting um, and i hope you like this showcase if you are interested in getting your space marines from leviathan painted do not hesitate in getting in touch with us the link to our website and our contact form can be found in the description of this video you can also go view the gallery on our website which has got loads of different images of miniatures for all the different qualities that we offer here at siege if you're going to be painting them yourselves then let us know in the comments which chapter you're going to be painting your space marines and why and for all the team here at siege a massive thank you for watching the showcase i hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.